Hello and welcome to the 2019 Softball Manager Meeting. My name is Jonathan Moore, Adult Sports Operation Coordinator. I am joined today by Liz Jarris, Program Assistant. Hey everyone, thank you for choosing Egan Adult Softball. I'm looking forward to the softball season. I've been a program assistant with Egan Parks and Rec since 2017, working mostly with youth t-ball, adult sports, and field rentals. Together you will see both of us throughout the season at Northview and Lexington Diffley Fields. We will also be in contact during the season sharing league information, whether it's schedules, standings, tournaments, or other important league information. Here at Egan Softball, we have a couple new items to discuss before we dive into the softball information. Number one is of course this manager meeting video. To save you, the manager, time, we wanted to make this information available to everyone everywhere. To save everyone time again, your books will be delivered to the fields on opening night and the softball will be provided at the fields by the umpires for each game. We'll also have a door prize available towards the end. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we go through our league rules and policies with updated information. After the video, if you have any questions, please contact either one of us and we'll respond as soon as possible. Thanks and enjoy. A lot of time, energy, and resources go into making the leagues in Egan an enjoyable experience for everyone. The goal is to enjoy your leisure time through your experience in these recreational opportunities, reducing stress while enhancing the quality of life through play. Manager's duties, know the playing rules and take responsibility for your team's conduct. Designated manager must handle any dispute. Schedule information, changes, or other league information will be sent via email and posted at this link. Please be sure we have an email address on file for your team. Sportsmanship. Managers are responsible for the conduct of their players and spectators. If someone is ejected from a game, the individual is required to give the umpire their name. Refusal will result in an immediate suspension. In addition, the game in play becomes an immediate forfeit. Sore sportsmanship policy. Game suspension will result for an unsportsmanlike act, including but not limited to profanity, tantrum behavior, and verbal abuse. That applies for that game and at least the next two games. Any unnecessary physical contact with another individual will result in a game suspension deemed appropriate by the league director. Any physical contact, including but not limited to fighting, hitting, kicking an umpire, will result in an immediate 12-month suspension. Casual profanity. Casual profanity pertains to expletives and verbal and sportsmanlike language that most likely involves a player uttering them out of frustration. This type of behavior is penalized by outs, being declared against the offending team. Alcohol and smoking. Alcohol and smoking is forbidden on the field or bench area. If a player is impaired, he or she can be asked to leave the game by the umpire. Park regulations. All Egan parks close at 11 p.m. No glass is allowed in any Egan park. Please use trash containers to keep the parks clean. Safety. Only players, managers, or coaches listed on the team roster will be allowed in the team bench area or on the field of play. Absolutely no children are allowed in the team bench area or on the field of play. No exceptions. Eligibility and rosters. All participants must be at least 18 years old as of April 1st of this year. Final roster changes for the remainder of the season and for postseason tournaments are due by Friday, June 7th. Inclement weather. Weather conditions can change dramatically in a short period of time. A team is never required to play a game even if the weather line or umpire has not canceled the game. If there is a safety concern, players, managers, and fans should always choose safety ahead of choosing to stay at the fields. The determination on makeups, forfeits, etc. can be made at a future time. Call the sports hotline at 651-675-5566, press 1, or check game status page at this link after 4 p.m. Teams should report to the fields if the recorded message has not canceled games. One to two dates are available for makeup games. Late arrival and forfeits. A team must have eight players. No team shall start short. A five-minute grace period is allowed for the first game of the night on each field. Out of respect for the opposing team, please notify the league director if you need to forfeit a game within a reasonable amount of time. The opposing team will then be notified. Playing rules. The performance standard for all bets will be a bet performance factor, or BPF, of 1.2 or less. Continuing for 2019, all bats must now have the USSSA fingerprint stamp on them to be used in league play. Older grandfathered bats and bats from other associations are not allowed. 
Official softballs will be the Dudley Thunder Optic Yellow 12-inch .4 core and 325 compression and Dudley Thunder Optic Yellow 11-inch .44 core and 400 compression softball. The league will provide one new softball for each game and a backup ball. Playing rules for the game. An official game shall consist of seven innings and shall follow a 60-minute time limit unless otherwise listed below. No new inning shall begin after 55 minutes. An official game is after four innings are completed or three and a half innings if the home team is in the lead. If the minimum innings have not been played, the game may continue past the time limit in order to make an official game. If the game is not official when it is stopped due to weather or darkness, the game will be resumed at a later date from the point when it was suspended. Games can end in a tie. Extra innings will be played only if there is still time left on the clock. Batting. Each manager is required to report a batting lineup at the beginning of the game to the umpire. Batting lineups may be a specific number of 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12 players. If a player leaves, his or her position is an appealed out unless a substitute is available. Batting order can be reported as everyone. Every official player must bat. If a player has to leave, the lineup will collapse and no out occurs. Co-ed batting. A team may have more women than men in the batting lineup. A team may only have more men than women in the lineup if they are willing to take an out when the women's spot would be due up. For example, five men and four women the tenth spot for the fifth woman would be an out that must be reported to the umpire. All leagues can use a floating men's lineup within a women's lineup or a snake lineup. Example, if a team has seven men and five women show up for a game, the team will bet a reported everyone using ten batting positions. The seven men will then rotate equally through the five men's batting positions. All 12 players are eligible to play the 10 defensive positions, but it must still be five men and five women in the field. Base running. A limit of two players will be allowed to use a courtesy runner for the duration of the game. If a manager has requested two players to have courtesy runners, then a third player is not able to receive a courtesy runner. Said runner must be the last player who made an out. Korak is allowed two male and two female players. Runners shall be the last same-sex out. Men's 35 and over and men's church are allowed unlimited courtesy runners. Umpires. If there is a no-show or late umpire, please notify another umpire or let the field maintenance know immediately. They will contact the league supervisor on duty to find a substitute. Both managers should then agree to one of the following. Play the game with a substitute. Play the game self-officiated. Start the game immediately following your decision in order to keep the games on schedule. Once an umpire arrives, they will take over from the substitute or self-officiated game. If interested in umpiring this season, contact Jonathan for more information. Two, three, and four game nights available throughout the summer months, including weekend tournaments. Protest. Rule protest procedure. A team may protest a rule infraction, but not a judgment call. Eligibility protest procedure. A team may protest an eligibility of another team's player. Follow the procedure from the handbook if you wish to protest either. Schedules. Leagues are set to begin the week of Monday, April 22nd. Schedules for each league will be posted and emailed to league managers no later than one week before the start of their season. Standings and awards. League scores and standings are updated on a weekly basis. League champions and league runner-ups will receive awards. Postseason play. Any team interested in playing in the state tournament must pay the entry fee of $185 by Friday, June 7th. A list of state tournaments can be found on the Egan softball page at this site. Door prizes. At this time, we ask each manager to please email Jonathan at the following address to be entered into a drawing for a chance to win a mic and bat. Deadline to register for bat is Friday, April 19th. Winner will be announced Monday, April 22nd. Only one entry per team will be accepted. Thank you once again for choosing Egan Softball. Our contact information is listed below.